Hey everybody, Sean Keenan here, and in this tutorial for Touch Plus, I'm going to show you a workflow speed up method that we can use to go ahead and create a shelf window inside of Maya for uh, speeding up our workflow and basically throwing all of our um, priority uh, modeling tools and some of our icons inside of Maya into a shelf window so that we actually don't have to go ahead and look for them. Okay, so first things that we need to go ahead and do is we're going to allow Maya to do that work for us. Um, if you're like me and you don't really have a lot of coding uh, experience and knowledge, um, this is going to be fairly straightforward and fairly simple. And if you follow along, you should be able to go ahead and get this done uh, pretty easily. So. Let's go ahead and get started here. And the first things that we need to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and create a shelf uh, inside of Maya. And to do that, we're just going to come over here to this little icon. We're going to come down here to click New Shelf. Okay, we'll go ahead and rename rename this our Tuts Plus EX, for example. Okay, just making sure that this is going to be selected here. We're now going to go ahead and add some icons to our shelf. And to do that, all we have to do is hold down Control and Shift while we select something. And it's going to go ahead and add that to our shelf. Now, since I'm just using this as an example, you guys can go ahead and add whatever you want to the shelf. Uh, I'm just simply going to add a few, a few icons here, maybe a dozen of them. Um, just so that you guys understand exactly how to go ahead and uh, create this window. So let's come up here and start with the window tab here. And we'll take our general editors and we'll go ahead and take our connection editor. Uh, and, and these are just for demonstration purpose only. Okay, we'll go ahead and take our script editor uh, from rendering editors. We'll go ahead and take our hyper shade. The animation editors here will go ahead and take uh, our graph editor relationship. You can take whatever you want from our settings and preferences. I'm going to go ahead and take my preferences, uh, the hotkey editor, marking menu editor, uh, the shelf editor, the plugin manager. I'll also go ahead here and take my attribute editor, the outliner, and uh, the UV texture editor. Okay, with those added, let's go ahead and uh, basically just fill up the rest of the shelf here. Uh, just so we have a good amount of icons on the shelf. So whenever we go ahead and create this window, it's really going to give us um, a solid amount. Okay, let's come over here to our Modify tab. And let's go ahead and take uh, the Freeze Transformations, uh, the Center Pivot. And we'll go ahead and edit. Delete by type history. And we'll just come over here and make sure we take our add attribute, edit attribute, delete attribute. Um, other than that, I think we're probably okay with the basics here. Um, these are generally the ones that I tend to use the most. Uh, so I don't necessarily want to go ahead and you know go looking for them. And if we want, we can go ahead and take some of our polygon uh, editing tools here. So for mesh, I'll go ahead and just say, you know, let's take our uh, our combine, separate, and extract. Uh, and from the edit mesh menu, we'll go ahead and take the extrude, the bridge, uh, merge, merge the center, our bevel tool. Okay. I'm going to hit F2 on my keyboard so that I can grab some animation tools here. So from the skeleton menu, I'll go ahead and take the joint tool, the IK handle tool, uh, the spline IK handle tool. Uh, even if I wanted to, we can always take the smooth bind. Um, even the, the paint weights, weights tool. Uh, and the mirror skin weights tool 
And if you want, you can always click the option box, and this will add that option box to the to the shelf here as well. So whenever you select on it, it's going to allow you to take the the option to just simply click it once rather than having to click it twice to go ahead and open it for the options, as you can see there. Okay. So now that our shelf has basically been populated with some of the, the quick tools that we want to go ahead and add to our shelf, we need to go ahead and figure out a way to create a window with these in here. Okay, and I just want to show you an example of what happens whenever inside of my whenever you create a shelf like this. So I want to make sure that I go ahead and save all shelves. This way you really do save all of your shelves and so that this is going to get kicked out of Maya and into your documents folder for Maya. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that over here. And we want to take a look in our, since we're using our Maya 2014, we want to go ahead and take a look in our Maya 2014 folder. Okay, preferences, shelves. And if we go ahead here and take a look at our shelf touch plus example, you can see here that it throws out all of the code that we would need to go ahead and create a shelf here, a shelf window really. Okay. And for a lot of you, this is probably um, misunderstandable. And it's not really that hard to understand it, but what it does here and what it really says here is those buttons that we've gone and add to our, added to our shelf window is that these are the commands that Maya is using to access those tools or to actually show you those tools. Okay, so let's go ahead and close this. And I'm just going to go ahead and pull this off screen here. And I'm also going to go ahead here and pull over the Maya documentation from online. Now, if you've installed the Maya documentation, you can simply hit F1 on your keyboard and it's going to launch this window. But if not, you can just simply go to Google, type in Maya 2014 online documentation, and you'll actually go ahead and get this. So now with this up, what we need to do is figure out a way that we can actually write a little bit of code to go ahead and um, <clears throat> create our window. Okay, so we can come down here to our tech technical documentation, the commands. The commands here is going to be our MEL scripting or the commands Python, but since we're not going to be using Python, we're just simply going to click on the commands here so we get the MEL script commands for it. Okay, and to create a window here, you can always come over to Windows, but I know the layout that we're going to be using, and that's a shelf bar layout. So I'm just going to simply click on Layouts here. And now that I've gone ahead and clicked on Layouts there, I want to go ahead here and click on our Shelf tab layout. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead here and scroll down to the bottom. And as you see, this gives us an example of the shelf bar layout commands. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Just highlight it. Hit Control C to copy it. And go ahead and pull that over. Go ahead and launch our script editor here. And as you can see, I already have a little bit there, so I'm going to go ahead and clear that off. Go ahead and clear the top off here. Go ahead and hit Control V to paste that in there. I'm going to hit Control A so that I can highlight that. Go ahead and run that code. And you can see that we get a, a basic window here. Obviously, there's no title or so it comes up as window one. Okay. Now, what we want to do is go ahead and get all of these icons into the window. But before we go ahead and do that, I want to make sure that we rename this window. Okay, so we need a couple flags to go ahead and do that. And what I mean by that is if we actually scroll up here in the Maya online documentation, see where we can actually find title here. And I'm just looking here for the actual flag command, but you can see where like the width, you can change the width of the window. So it would be dash W uh, enable to make sure that you're, actually going to enable the window here and there is a title flag but they actually don't have it listed uh, for the shelf tab layout here 
that might actually just be in the uh, the window command. And let me just see here. Yep, you can see here the title. So this would be allow us to go ahead and title the window. Okay, so let me go ahead and just make sure that we jump back to our shelf tab layout here. Go ahead and just pull this over. Okay, so if we wanted to go ahead and title our window here, I'm going to go ahead and close that. We need to make sure that we put that flag before the actual shelf tab layout command. Okay, so I'll go ahead and hit dash title. Hit the quotation. And then we can title the window whatever we want. So in this case, we'll call this the Tuts Plus Example. Or just Tuts Plus should be fine. So we'll close that quotation mark. And then we'll put the semicolon. Run it. So now you can see our window is called Tuts Plus. So we can basically put, you know, whatever title here that we want. So if we wanted the Speed Tool. And go ahead and do that and you can see that it's going to keep renaming that window for us okay but let's say now that we want to go ahead and rename these tabs uh, and we can go ahead and rename these tabs basically whatever we want um, I'm just going to leave these here for example and just so that you guys can go ahead and add on to these but for this first one I'm going to go ahead and change the dynamics name here Okay, so we go ahead and just delete the dynamics, and I'm going to call this quick uh, ACC1. So for quick access one, go ahead and highlight that. And you can see that our tool here gets renamed to quick act one. Okay, so now what we want to go ahead and do here is throw all of these icons and all of these tools into this window. And to do that, what I want to go ahead and do is just jump back here to our My Documentation folder. Okay, we want to take this Touch Plus. I'll go ahead and reopen this. We don't need the Global Procedure Shelf Touch Plus example. This is basically all for Maya to go ahead and launch that shelf whenever it opens Maya. But what we do need here is we need the Shelf button all the way down to the uh, semicolon here. We don't need this this squiggly bracket because this closes that procedure that is at the top of the screen here. Okay, so let's go ahead and just highlight this. And we're just going to go down here to the bottom. Okay, and I'm just trying to get down there as quick as I can. And I'm just trying not to highlight anything that I don't want. Okay. So since now I have that completely highlighted, I'm going to go ahead and hit Control C to copy that. Go ahead and just drag that off screen here. And let me just go ahead and pull that off screen. Okay. Now you're probably asking yourself, well, where do we need that? What happens here is we need the, we go ahead and just make sure that I, Make that a little bit larger so that you guys can actually read that. What we need to do is go ahead and paste it in between the quick act and the set parent. This way all of those icons and all of those tools are actually going to sit in between here. So it would be the tab, our icons, and then it's going to set parent right before what would be our rendering tab. Okay, so if I have my mouse clicked in between the shelf layout quick act semicolon. I want to go ahead and paste it right in between here. So I'll hit control V to paste that. Go ahead and hit control A so I can run the window now. And there you can see that all of our icons and all of our tools have been thrown into the Maya window. Now it should be noted that if you try to do this inside of Maya 2011, you're actually going to get a different layout uh, versus Maya 2012, Maya 2013, and obviously Maya 2014, as you as you see here. And that's because some of the library commands 
have actually changed in between the Maya 2011 version and the Maya 2012 version. So just make a note of that. It'll actually be a little bit weirder. Um, it would be more of a, a smaller window that you're going to actually be able to go ahead and throw those tools into. Okay, so now that we have uh, our icons here thrown into, you know, what is going to be our speed tool here. Let me go ahead and just move this up real quick. What if I want to go ahead and extend that um, tool? So instead of, you know, I'm just going to use, for example, here, just, you know, um, recopying and repasting this into another one. You can just simply rename the tab here. So if I want to rename the rendering tab here, which you can see right here, we'll call this test two. Okay, we'll go ahead and rerun that. And you can see that this gets changed to test two. Okay. And you can see that we don't have any icons inside of this part of the window as well. So what we can do is just simply uh, hit enter to go ahead down one line. I'll go ahead and paste that in. And now you're going to see that we also have those tools inside of that quick access number two. Okay. And you can just simply repeat that process as many times as you want to go ahead and create the uh, multiple access tool that you want. So uh, there's a look at how you guys can go ahead and create a quick access tool inside of Maya for your uh, workflow speed up. Uh, definitely take a look and keep a look on the uh, keep an eye on the website for more tutorials to come. And thanks for watching, guys.